Hola chicos, soy yo, Señor Ravi. I just wanted to give you the vocab that I wanted you to learn for today. Uh, estamos en la página dos. So feel free to pause me until we get there. Página dos. La primera palabra, viejo or vieja, means old. So since this is an adjective, remember that adjectives generally go after the noun in Spanish. So if we're saying the old grandpa, it wouldn't be el viejo abuelo, it'd be el abuelo viejo. But you'd need to make a degree in gender. So if I was talking about the old grandma, then it would be la abuela vieja. So old is viejo or vieja. The opposite of that, joven, is young. Young. Now, joven kind of works like azul does, where you don't have to change it whether it's masculine or feminine. But if you're describing some, more than one thing that's young, then it would be, need to be jovenes with an ES at the end. Jovenes. So I would say el hijo joven, the young son, or los hijos jóvenes, the young children, or sons, plural. If I'm this guy, this little guy for me would be menor, younger. Not young, but younger, menor. Some of you might have el hermano menor, the younger brother, or la hermana menor, younger. Right? This guy, for me, if I were the middle uh, person here, would be mayor, older, older. Again, the older brother would be el hermano mayor. The older sister would be la hermana mayor. A good way to remember those two, we have menor, kind of sounds like the word minor. A minor is somebody who's under 18, so you can remember that, menor, younger. Mayor sounds like the word mayor or looks like the word mayor. And a mayor is of a city is usually somebody who's older. Right? Remember that your next thing to do is you're going to go on to Schoology and complete the activity um, in the El 19 de Noviembre folder. Um, and then after that, make sure you see your substitute for um, a paper to do a Mexico web quest. Adios!